Right. We are back. More of the return to glory here for Sunderland. Big local derby here today. Away against Middles to start things off. Of course, we are pushing to try and get promotion this season. Our squad, to me, looks good enough to do that. But we are... We've had a bit of a rough start, haven't we? But let's uh, see how we get on in this game. Uh, like I said, very important one. Local derby as well. They'll want to get past Middlesbrough. And we do. 3-0 victory to start things off here today. Two goals for Doku and one for De La Vega. Lovely jubbly. It's a good start, that is. Very good start. Uh, I feel like we get round to January. We'll try and bring some players up from the academy in January. I think that would be a good thing to do. But I've, I'm quite happy with our squad. Again, there's just not really a lot of depth at this point in time. That's why I'm looking to bring those guys through from the academy. We're continuing on pushing the guys in training as well. We have a bit of news. A loan offer for Sturgeo. Now, I'm tempted to actually accept this at this point. Um, I'll leave it for now. I'll leave it till January. <laughs> I just think we, we've got a couple of players now. Uh, I think we've got, is his name Davis? Who can play left back and centre back. Potentially he could go onto the bench. He's only three ratings lower than Sturge or whatever he pronounces his name. So it could be an option. Billy Gilmore wants to play today. So let's give him the opportunity in place of the Ketlier. I'm, I know I'm pretty much aware that I am butchering a lot of these names as I go along. So I do apologise if I do. It is what it is though, isn't it, I suppose. You wouldn't expect any more from me, would you? Right. Away at Huddersfield. Two away games in a row. Can we make it two wins in a row? Huddersfield have lost two games in a row. Make that three. Ferreira and Castro with the goals. Gets us a 2-0 victory away at Huddersfield. Beautiful. Exactly what we want to see. Right. Let's continue pushing in on the training. Of course, we want Acuna. And to do very, very well as quickly as possible because we know he has a potential of over 90. Al Faran has got a very high potential as well. In fact, all of these players have very high potential. So we just want to try and push them as quickly as we possibly can. Next up then, we have got a game against Barnsley. Oh, you scout though. Right, my favourite time of the month. Um, It's not looking good so far, is it, over in old Denmark? 75 to 94 will take Mads Fransen. And that looks like to be it. And that is the end of that one. Okay. Mads Franz looks like a great player to get a hold of, though. Over in Sweden. 75 to 94. John Lundgren. Olaf Magnusson. 72 to 94 as well. We'll take a bit of you. Just in case. And 74 to 94. Thomas Lindstrom. Wow. Okay. We've had a good month there, actually. Good month. I'm going to leave um, Sjorberg. I don't think he's going to be good enough for us. And the final one was the one over in Romania. You found us anything good? 71 to 94 goalkeeper will take, but we have run out of space in our academy. I'll tell you what, we'll bring this guy up. We'll bring up Fabian Wierisch Grek, how you pronounce that. He's 84 to 90 potential, so we can bring him straight up into the squad. And we will bring in that goalkeeper because we do need a good young goalkeeper in our squad. And I think we'll leave the others. I don't think they're going to be good enough. Okay, here we go. Uh, so first of all, then we can send the scouts off elsewhere. So we can find some more fantastic young players. I'm pretty happy with the players we're finding so far, though, I must be honest. Um, right, we're done Sweden. Let's we work across... Nope, let's not do that, no. Should we work across Scandinavia? Let's do a bit of, um, bit of Norway for three months. Uh, Jason Campbell... Uh, let's do... So what, let's do a bit of Portugal. I fancy a bit of Portugal. Being a Man United fan and seeing how well Bruno Fernandes done in his beginning of his career at Manchester United. I'm very, very happy with that. And then uh, our big bad man. Let's send him off to Germany. Our five-star, five-star scout. See if he can bring back some absolute fantastic players. Right. So Bansley are upcoming. We've got Shrewsbury pretty soon after that as well. Game's going to be thick and fast. We are in the playoffs now, though. Seventh position, which is fantastic. So we need to continue on with this good run of form. Barnsley have lost three in a row, so hopefully we can take advantage with that. Which we do a 3-1 a victory. All three goals for Ferreira. He definitely is much better as a striker than Esposito is, isn't he? So that is fantastic. We've pulled three points away from Swansea in seventh as well. Shrewsbury City, we're going to keep with the same team. We're going to keep going. 
We've not really got a lot that we can change at this point in time, have we? Not got a lot of depth. So a 4-0 victory, though. Two for De La Vega, one for Ferreira, and one for Jared Bowen. Uh, let's continue on the training. So we get these guys boosted up again. We need to get Tezar up to a 60 so we can see what his potential is going to be as well. Might be a case that in January we let some of these players go out on loan as well, actually. Uh, as we come up against Preston North End here in the final game of the month. Uh, another away game. We seem to be having so many away games at the moment. We're going to stick with the same team, of course. It's doing so well at the moment. Preston won one in their last three. And we get a 3-0 victory. Two goals from Jared Bowen and one from Billy Gilmore. Gives us the victory. Nice. Continue the training as well. Get these guys boosted. Of course, we're about to hit the end of the month, so we should get some stat upgrades naturally as well. Boom. All right, let's have a look at our youth um, squad monthly update. It's going to be pretty interesting to see. Right. 84 to 90 is good. 76 to 94. 82 to 88, Noah Cameron. I don't think you're going to be good enough for us, I'm afraid, mate. Uh, 78 to 94, 75 to 93, 84 to 94, 75 to 93, 75 to 89, you're gone, 86 to 94, 80 to 94, 81 to 91, 77 to 94, 77 to 85, you're not good enough either, uh, 75 to 94 and 80 to 90, and Frads, Mad, uh, Mads Franson, sorry, 81 to 94. So this is the guy we got from the catalogue. Our Scout of Future star. Bit disappointed in his potential, to be honest. But you never know. Could still be good. I think you can tell by their... I think their value uh, gives you an idea on their current ability, not their potential. Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Unless I can find two players at the same rating. So 58 and a 58. So 230... 240, okay. Maybe it's not all down to that then. I don't know, we'll have to have a look as we go along. Training injury for Al Faran, that's fine. Um, we're not really using him at the moment anyway as a backup. So we're still doing well. We are only two points away from West Brom actually up in third place, which would be nice to try and catch them up. Next up there we have Derby County. Players leaving on international duty, that's always annoying. Uh, Derby a pretty mixed run recently. A draw, a win, and a loss. Can we add another loss to that list for them? We can. 2-0. Jallo and Ferreira with the goals. And that moves us up a place in the league as well now. Excellent. Moves us ahead of Brentford. Uh, equal point to West Brom. And only one point behind Sheffield United. It actually leaves us two points away from automatic promotion as well. Which is fantastic. And we seem to have completed one of our tasks from the uh, the board. Be interested to see what that is. Uh, who do we want to level up around here then? Um, we were doing Ferran, of course, but he's currently injured. So no need to boost him at the moment. Centre-back wise, we're probably fine. Uh, wing backs, okay. I say we just go then for one of the other younger players, I suppose. Let's get Fabian on. Uh, where are we? Want a depth attack in scenarios. There we go. Right, Akuna hits a 65. And if we can get him close to a 70 before the end of the season, that'd be great. You'll be able to play a bit more games next season, hopefully. Uh, so what is it we've completed here? Uh, shirt sales, 27 million. Fantastic. And obviously that's going to make us look pretty good in the eyes of the board. The next important thing that we need to do is make our way into the top two, I suppose. Wow, that's a nice chunk of time off. Thankfully, it looks like in the championship, we get the international breaks off as well. Because, of course, we've had a few players out on the international breaks. So that's good. Right. Scouts are back after their first trip out uh, in the new places. Uh, we'll continue scouting. Oh, we'll have a bit of you. Henrik Muller could be up to a 75. He's not going to be, but... We'll take him. 70 to 94 I always take as well. And the rest we will continue to scout. But two good Germans there. I'm interested what their current abilities are going to be. Uh, over in Portugal, 
We've had a complete disaster of a month in Portugal. Let's just ignore that ever happened. And up in Norway, 72 to 94, Leif Mo. Uh, we'll continue scouting the rest. I want to see what these two German players are all about then. Because one of them had a potential, uh, one of them had a current ability of up to 75. I've never seen any. I don't think I've ever got any that have been over 65. Uh, okay, you're 54. German, there we go. 61 and 56. You never get high current abilities. Never. We'll have to wait and see what happens with those two then. I'm a bit annoyed with that. I really am. I mean, it's not bad. As long as it's over 6, that's a pretty decent amount for us to get on with. And uh, we have an injury, do we? Or no, it's still a Kamavinga has got a suspension. You know what? Akuna, you're going to get your first game, my friend. Maybe I should have played the Catlier from the bench. Uh, in the first team instead, but I want to give Akuna an opportunity. Uh, we've seen some more improvements in stats, and haven't we? With De La Vega hitting an 82 rating now, which is insane when you think we're in the championship, isn't it? I mean, he's a player we could potentially sell and invest in better players. I'm not sure if I would do that, but uh, it's a possibility. A 3-0 victory then against Rotherham. Goals from Bowen, De La Vega, and one from Esposito as well. When Akuna got himself a nice game. How many stat points is Akuna up? Eight. Okay. We need Akuna to get up ten before it's actually going to matter as part of our uh, missions. You now we've got the mission to play a player who's got up ten stat points uh, in ten games. So we need to get him up two more stat points as quickly as possible and then play him in ten games. Uh, Leeds United next. We are now up in fourth position. Only two away from automatic promotion. Oh, hello. We're two away from automatic promotion. We're three away from the top, but we've got a game in hand on both Stoke and Sheffield United. Equal points, uh, equal game, sorry, with Fulham. So this is interesting, actually. We could go up here. Right. So let's take Akuna off again. I'm going to play De Catlier back in the cam position. All these guys are a little bit unhappy about the lack of first team football, but to be honest, at the moment, I'm having to push with our strongest side. Once we get up there and we're sort of convincing a bit more, then maybe I can try and mix and match a little bit more. But at the moment, we're going to have to stick with our strongest guys, game in, game out, to try and get us that promotion. A 2 0 victory goals from Castaneda and from Ferreira. I'm happy with that. Next up, Millwall, as we now are top of the table. Joint points with Stoke City. Top of the table. Lovely. Millwall have not won in their last three. Well, let's make that four. We do have a 4 1 win. Three goals for Bowen, one for Doku, and a, uh, a red card for Jalo, which means Sturgeu, whatever his name is, is going to get a game next time. Uh, Vajraman wants to play more often. We can uh, arrange that. Uh, Wirazek gets himself up to a 64. Akuna up to 65 and a half. There we go. Eventually let me advance. Uh, so Vajraman, you want to play a bit more? I will bring you in in place of Matondo for a couple of games because you are actually better than Matondo in that position. So we'll do a bit of that. And Jalo, uh, you can come on. Yeah, it's tricky at the moment, isn't it? It really is tricky because a lot of these players are getting unhappy with a lack of game time, but I just can't give them that game time at this point in time. I mean, they're getting game time on the bench. They need to step up a bit. They need to step up, but I can't risk not getting promoted this season. I can't risk it. The board are really moaning that we get promoted. I mean, if we do get ahead, I mean, we are now one point at the top of the table. A loan offer for Gilmore. I mean, that could be an interesting thing. I'm going to reject it for now. Until we get through to January, I'm going to reject all the offers for now. Um, but that's something we could consider, is maybe letting someone like Gilmore go out on loan. Same with Sturgeu, and just using some of the youth players. Well, let's have a look then at the monthly squad, youth squad updated. Did it? I didn't butcher that at all. Right, Mo, you're gone. 82 to 90, 72 to 92, 77 to 91, 66 to 86... Uh, 72 to 92, 77 to 91, 78 to 92. Oh, he's getting even better now, isn't he? Ferreru, Roche, whatever his name is. 87 to 94, 86 to 94 as well. We're going to have two fantastic Romanian players. 
Uh, goalkeeper's looking good as well. Andrea Brantano. Um, I'm really butchering these names. Gustav Simonson is looking decent. Cameron White, you're not good enough, my friend, I'm afraid. We have that limit. You need to be over a 90 to be in our team. Um, 64 rating, though, for Federico Moretti. I think he's a player we'll definitely bring up. Like I said, we'll probably do a lot of these in January. And we'll bring a lot of these players up. So this is the big one, then. Brentford City. This is a big one. Jallo wants to play. I don't think you can play, can you? Or have I, have I already played the game that you were suspended for? No. He's moaning he wants to play this game, but he's suspended. You can't play this game. You're not allowed. I can't physically put you in. Right, this is a big one, this is, though. First versus second. And it's a 1-1 draw. And we missed a penalty in the game as well. That's annoying. That is annoying. Does that keep us top or has somebody else overtaken us now? That does drop us down. Equal points, though, with West Brom and Jalbian. Uh, we need to get Akuna up to a 66, which he has. Okay. So that should be him up 9 stat points now. We need him to go up 10. Then we need to play him in 10 games. So, uh, who else has gone up then? You've gone up 9. You've gone up 6. You've gone up 6. You've gone up 4. Okay. How many do we need to do? Is it just one player or is it two players? Um, grow two youth players by 10 points. Then play him in 10 games. Okay, so we do need to do both of those. Which is fine. Akuda's getting there quickly. Needs one more stat point. Jallo's disappointed not to have played in the last game, even though he was suspended, and I have no choice on the matter. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, let's bring him back in, then, in place of Sturgeau. I mean, these players can't be expecting to play, surely. What have I just done there? What, why, am I, why am I stupid for? Yeah, these players can't be expecting to play some of these younger ones. I mean, the likes of um, Silviera... Or Davis or Alfarana, are they disappointed not playing more games? Which I suppose possibly they could. Maybe I'll have a look in January. I really don't want to have a, an A team B team yet because I don't think we've got enough depth in our squad to do so. Um, right, game against Fulham, and again a very important game. Fulham have dropped off recently though. No wins in the last three, and we get a two-one win. That's a big, big result. That is with Fulham in the top. Well, he's in the playoff positions, weren't they? So that was a big, big victory for us. Will it put us back top? It does put us back top by a single point. And it uh, extends our gap away from Fulham. And next up, then, we have... Who is that? Um, I, I think I know. Is it... It's, oh, is it... It's a Robbins. It's a Robbins. Who's the Robbins? Who's the Robbins? I know that one. I know that one. Who is it? I thought it was Bristol City as well. And I didn't want to say it because I felt stupid. Either way, we're top of the table now. Bristol City in the 11th of December. They've lost their last three games in a row. Can we make it four? And can we continue to pull away at the top of the table? We do have a 3 1 victory. De La Vega, Ferreira, and De Catlier with the goals. Right, we are playing well now. We are playing well. I feel like I should probably mix and match a little bit more with the team. I'm just. I'm just terrified of playing slightly weaker players than suffering the uh, the aftermath of what's going to happen if we don't win the game. So that's the annoying thing. But right, let's give let's give Gilmore a game. Let's give Sterling a game, and let's bring Esposito on up front for a game or two. I mean, we need to mix and match. I suppose the the more these other guys play games, the better they are going to become as well. So we do need to play them just so they can level up, I suppose. We are currently two points clear of the playoffs. One point clear of Stoke City. I don't know who our next game is going to be. We've got a nice little break here, though. Just to get a bit of uh, rest and relaxation, a bit of R&R. &R before the very difficult Christmas Billy Gilmore's demands. I've just put him on the pitch. Gilmore, you can go to Bruges on loan. I should have accepted that £9 million deal from um, from whoever that was. Sheffield Wednesday up next. Dash is going to work pretty well, actually, letting Gilmore go out on loan, because he's going to come back a better player in the summer, hopefully. Uh, let's have a look and see what the scouts are up to now. 
From Germany, we find... Nobody of real interest. Okay. You continue scouting then, my friend. Mr. Campbell over in Portugal, what have you found me? Uh, you were very disappointed in last month, and you've followed up with even more disappointment this month. And finally, Mr. Mason. In Norway, 73 to 94. We'll take a bit of that. Have I missed any? Nope. Okay, so one player out of three scouts. That's not... Well, that's terrible, should we face it, really? Um, Sheffield Wednesday. I mean, I have just put Gilmore in the team to play a few games, but if he wants to leave, he wants to leave. 4-1 victory. Goals from... Well, two from Bowen, one from Esposito, one from De La Vega. That's nice. I'm very happy with that. Esposito's happy for being put back into the team for that game. We continue on with Werezek getting himself up to a 65. Akuna's getting close to that 67 mark now. Um, Swansea City up next. Uh, which is another big game against the team in the playoffs. So we probably do need to push a bit harder. Gilmore has been loaned out. Kamavinga suspended again. Um, so let's bring in... Alon, uh, Antonio, should I say, actually. Um, Acuna can come onto the bench. And Ferreira, you're going to play as the cam today. Esposito scored a goal in his last game, so let's keep him on the pitch. If he can get a score and run going, that'd be fantastic. The reason I took him out is because he just wasn't scoring goals. That was the main problem. Very important game there against Swansea. They're in the playoffs. We're top of the table, and it's a 1-1 draw. Goal from De La Vega for us. Hmm. Not ideal. Not ideal. Does it keep us in the top? It doesn't. West Brom have joined us in the top now. Next up, then, Charlton Athletic on Boxing Day. Loan offer for Sturgeu from AZ Alkmaar. We'll accept that as well, because you're just causing problems. Right. Maybe we miss Camavinga a lot there, maybe. Ooh. I'm going to stick with this team to play against Charlton, uh, who have not won in the last three games. A 4-1 victory. Sturgeon got himself uh, sent off. Two goals for Ferreira, one for Bowen, one for Marcus Antonio. Excellent. Um, Camavinga wants to get back in the team, which is fine. You are... You've missed two games, and one of those was because you were suspended. Uh, okay. We've got a player who wants to leave the club if he doesn't get brought through from the academy, which is fine, because I'm going to do that in January, beginning of next episode. Right. So, Sturgiu, you're coming out. Uh, we're going to bring Davis onto the bench. Uh, Decatlia. Is it Decatlia I want to bring on? No, it's Kamavinga, isn't it? Kamavinga comes on in place of Antonio. Uh, Akuna comes off the bench in place of Antonio as well. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm happy with that. Okay. Maybe there are two squads we could play. Um, I'll have to have a look. I'll have a look. See what we can do. Right, Sheffield United. Big, big game this one again. Another team in the playoffs. We need to win this. It's another 1-1 one, one draw. We are struggling against some of the bigger teams, aren't we, in this league? As we get Bournemouth in the FA Cup. Right, so Akuna gets himself closer to that 67 mark now. Once Akuna's leveled up all to a 67, we'll take him out, I think, anyway. Um, but that is going to be it for today's video. We have finished off uh, the 2021 year. Next episode will start off in 2022, of course, beginning of January. We'll go through the academy, we'll bring some players through, and we'll have a look and see what we can do to continue to push our way forward towards the plomo promotion? promotion spots. That's words I'm looking for. If you've enjoyed this video, please do hit a like and of course subscribe if you want to see some more. I've been Shepard Gaming, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.